Hey guys, what's up? So today, sorry, I just realized that if I wear my glasses on camera with my light, it's gonna like reflect in my eyeballs and we don't want that. So I'm gonna take these off. Um, sorry for the mess that I am right now. So first video of 2019, I'm looking like a mess. I'm gonna live with it. Um, so yeah, it is 2019 and if you didn't know, last year at the end of 2017 so when it was uh it just started 2018 i did a my makeup favorites from 2017 so today i'm going to be filming my makeup favorites from 2018 and it's going to be like a tradition now because like i've done it to you this is the second time i've done it so um so yeah i'm gonna get straight into it i probably have a lot more products than last year not gonna lie wait one of them's over there so i'm gonna go get that and be right back so if the angle changed my camera's been messing up well my phones have been messing up and it won't stand because basically the ring light that i'm using is attached to my phone so it's got like a little like on my phone it's like there's an extra bit on it a little extra curve so it doesn't always stand up on everything so <laughs> deal with it so i'm gonna get straight into it i want to start off with skincare first and not what the hell why is it doing that like <laughs> Let me just stay please um i know the skincare isn't actually makeup but who cares i don't um it is sort of related to makeup it's still beauty wise but hmm. so uh the first thing i've loved this since 2017 i'm not even i think this actually might be in my 2017 one but it is the garnier skin active micellar cleansing water so many people use this like oh, what the heck um it's for sensitive skin and it removes and makeup cleanses and it's doing it again what the actual heck so many problems in this video already we've only just got like two minutes into it so great so yeah this is it um i love this it's just a mini bottle what the actual heck like why does it keep on doing that i'm gonna have to cut this out um third angle change <laughs> so um as i was saying my big legs are here you know just gonna deal with that um i think i'm actually gonna be blind i'm gonna have to move back so you guys can actually see my full face but i think i'm actually gonna be blind after this video because that light is so bright and my eyes are dying um so yeah as i was saying um this is my favorite one of my favorite makeup removers um slash skincare for this year i think it was in my last year one but it was like a bigger bottle um i've only got a small bottle because i don't use it as much because i don't use makeup as much as i did when i had the bigger bottle so the next thing is from b and i'm not b and m sorry b and m but you don't pro you don't sell this um home bargains home bargains i meant you but i said the wrong shop so don't judge right so this is it a lot my friend kaylee i think got this like two, one or two years ago and she's like oh my god i actually love this and then like I got it this year and then it ran out so I got this one it's this tea tree um, foaming face wash for clean healthy skin I love this it makes my skin so soft like on this plate what the heck um, I've also been loving sheet masks this year but um, I didn't get one so you're gonna have to deal with not having one on the camera and yes if you're wondering what is on the top it's the members of BTS if you're gonna all hate on me for liking BTS click off this video because i love bts and if you do like bts who is your bias comment it below my bias is j-hope so yeah it was first rm like rm was my where is he now rm was my first bias but then i kind of just like changed him to my bias record because he isn't as good as j-hope anymore so i kind of switched them around um I just love all of them so like I technically can't really pick a bias that I'm fully loyal to like what the heck so I just stuck with J-Hope and that is going to be my bias now forever um but yeah I love this as I was saying and it was only 89p less than less than a pound for this like what the heck you need to go buy this because it's so good right the final skincare thing I don't know if you class it as skincare 
Um, it's from the Happy Jacks in London um, Lip Butter Trio. Um, I've only tried the strawberry one. It's still in the packaging because I got it for Christmas and I haven't took it out of the packaging yet because I just like the packaging. Um, I haven't took most of the things that I got out for, that I got for Christmas out of the packaging. Oh well. So it's the this one says moi on it. I like a when you kiss someone, it's like, like moi kind of like that sort of thing. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Anyway, uh, it's a lip butter. Um, um, oh, I can't speak. Basically, in winter, I get quite like dry lips because the atmosphere is quite dry. To say that like it rains and it snows, it's still quite a dry because it's so cold. Um, so yeah. I've been loving this. It keeps my lips so moisturised. I'm even putting it on now because I just love it. And I love the smell of the strawberry on it. Like, it's an artificial strawberry smell. But I love it, like, honestly. I put way too much on. I'm just going to rub it in my hands. I did get um, some Soap and Glory body butters, but. Um, I'm mainly doing facial skincare if I am putting skincare in here, so that is why. Right, shove that in there. Right, now. that sounded so wrong. I'm sorry. Um, next is brushes. So these is uh, this is my favorite brush set. It's in this rose gold pot. I think this was from being a. Yeah, I think this was from B&M. If, uh, if it's not from B&M now, I'm going to look so bad. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, it's this pack of brushes. It's not really packed, but it's a set of brushes. I don't really even know if I've got them all here. Wait, where's my stippling brush? Here it is. So, basically, I have all these brushes. If you didn't see them in my Christmas wish list, not Christmas wish list, in my Christmas haul, I know that I only just got them at Christmas, but it was still, like six days before christmas actually ended i mean before 2018 ended so i could still fall in love with them by then um but yeah these are the msq brushes um i don't even know where they're from just search up msq brushes i'm sure they'll pop up so i love them next is glitters so if you don't know people either put glitter as a like a highlight sort of thing or they put it on their eyes for like half cut creases cut creases blah de, blah de, blah so um i've been using this one quite a lot i've got like half of it left and um, my sister's just got me a rose gold one for christmas but i forgot to include it in the haul because i, I couldn't find it sorry Heidi. i think i found it now but so it's the barry m body glitter i know it says body glitter and it's probably not for my eyes but i don't care and it's the glitter rush um, glitter and it's in the shade moonstone 731 so let me just show you um it's literally like <laughs> i love it um don't mind anything on my hand by the way i've been doing some bullet journaling so uh next is this was this is actually kind of an old thing because i got this in for boxing day on last year i think that's what it was yeah and i think i included it in that video of like being like my favorite things but it actually is it's like i think this is supposed to be a highlighter and this is supposed to be a bronzer but that highlight is too dark so i use it as a bronzer i kind of just mix them both together to be honest but yeah it's the tiny burr cosmetics glow de coco glow collection it even says glow collection in so you just know it's supposed to be a highlighter but it's too dark for me um so yeah what was i gonna say oh yeah i'm supposed to be doing a boxing day sales haul but thing is it's all been in packages so like i got this on boxing day thanks etsy for supplying me with this awesome jacket i mean not jacket uh uh what's it called top um i also got a plaid t a plaid skirt um or a checked skirt from pull and bear um i got some stickers and some photo cards and i have a, a an album on its way which i'm really, really happy about um 
but if you want to see what I actually got you'll have to check out my second channel um I'll try and link it in the description so you guys can check it out so next we're not even halfway through because I've rambled so much um and we're already on seven minutes so that's great the next thing is something that um someone got me for my birthday and I actually love it like I've been using it so much um whenever I do makeup now I use this palette not like on every day but like say if I'm going out then I'll use this palette because it has blush and highlight in it but it's the makeup revolution london blush palette and it's in um blush goddess um these are the shades let me just show you um so you have all the highlights on the top row it's like glaring so i'm sorry and then you have all the blushes so i love that thank you to the person that got it me i don't know if you're gonna watch this video but if you do then um then for my birthday as well of my sister she got me this soap palette and from revolution and it's the edge spice palette so this has been my favorite eyeshadow palette this year um i just love the colors in it because it's so like neutral it is a mess please don't judge like it is a mess of a palette like you can tell that i don't keep care of my palettes like they're all just messed up but it takes too much effort like seriously next so my favorite beauty blender it's not a proper beauty blender it's the primark one um it's this one i did have like a, a the dark pink one um and i do prefer that but I, I lost it and this was my next option so you can tell that i've been using it as well because it's got foundation and stuff literally everywhere so next um is for brows I have been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. I just love this. Like, it's probably not even like, like this is what I did these brows with today. They're probably not even that good, but who cares? I actually don't care anymore. Um, I just chuck some on, and off I go, off I pop. Um, primer. Um, so I got this with money off my great grandparents. Um, it's the PS Primark, basically Primer Water, and uh, it's really good. Let me just test it on my hand. It's just so refreshing and cool. Like if you're in a hot country and you're getting rid of your mate, you put your makeup on, and you just feel this refreshing. It's even giving me goosebumps because it's so nice and refreshing. Like it just makes your skin feel really soft um i got the one for hydrate and refresh because my skin does get quite dry um it's usually more oily in the summer and like it's like oily it's right basically i'll go for each season spring is like an oily dry like combination and then summer it's oily then autumn it's like an oily dry again and then winter it's dry so i'm literally just there like thanks thanks for being such great skin um and yeah i don't have a concealer because my favorite concealer i ran out so i haven't been using one for like a month because i ain't got the money for that so yeah um but my favorite lip products i've got two I do have another one, but I can't find it again. It's the Body Shop. Wait, I'll get the name of this one. Body Shop Matte Lip, Lip Liquid. I can't remember the name of it. And that's so bad of me, but it's basically similar to this colour, which is the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade... Where is it now? Zorich. Zorich? Am I saying that right? I think so. Um, and it's number 14. My next um, lip favourite is something that I got for my birthday at Trafford Centre when I went. Um, it's the liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't really even know if I said that. In the shade Dazed. So I'm just going to swatch for you. Like, when I bought, when I was picking it, I picked a lighter colour and she gave me a different colour. I was like, well depressed, but I still got it anyway. Um, I said, can I have Catherine? And she gives me Dazed. I don't know if they're the same colour, but honestly, like, I like it, but I just 
feel like it's a bit too dark. Even though I wear dark colours sometimes. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. This is my makeup bag that I've been using as well this year. My sister got me this for my birthday. Again. Oh, everything about my birthday. It's the... I think this is from B&M. Or Home Bargains. And obviously you can tell that I've been using it. Uh, but it's the... It says, I have enough makeup. Said nobody ever. You will have seen that in my birthday haul, I think. Um, but yeah. The foundation that I've been using this year. I've used quite a few foundations, actually. I've used the True Match. L'Oreal True Match. Um... Which is actually pretty good. Um, oh, sugar. I've just smudged that now. Thanks. Um, the True Match L'Oreal in Golden Ivory. I do like that foundation. Um, but, yeah. The next one I used, I can't remember. So, the final one that I used this year. I think I got this around August time. And I've just really, really enjoyed it. It's the Rimmel London Match Perfection. Um foundation in the shade 100 ivory um i really, really like it i don't know why it's just nice to me intrusion i got i got i don't even know if that's the right word but interruption let's say my mum was um telling me that we're going on a walk i actually hear these walks like basically every night we're starting off in 2019 and every night it probably won't last every night knowing my family will like forget about it after a week they want to take us on a walk with the dog for like half an hour. I'm just like, no, I know I want to lose weight, but seriously. It's freezing, it's pitch black. I just don't want to. Um, but yeah, so I do have a favourite mascara as well, but it's not with me, which is really depressing. The one that I've been using at the moment, because my other one right now, is this unbranded one. It's, oh no, actually. It's Goddess Jet Black Mascara by Manacada. I'll get it out of that Goddess set. I think I showed you in my Christmas haul. But yeah, I actually love these. Like, what the heck? I just love it. Like, I can't get over it. It's like nine quid. So, I might as well, in it. Um, If you would like me to do any sort of makeup videos, I now have ring light. So, it's better quality, people. Better quality. So, I've been so excited to get this because I want to make better quality videos. And I can just tell already that, like, the light makes such a difference. Like, oh, I'm getting this lipstick everywhere now. There's a the colour. There's that swatch that I was telling you about. But, yeah, um, I've been so excited to get this ring light. I'm going to put these back on now because my eyes are killing me. So, sorry if I've got rings in my eyeballs. But I can just tell, like, the difference of quality. Um, because it's a lot brighter for a start. It makes... I don't know whether this is a good thing, but it... Wait, what the heck is that? I don't know whether this is a good thing, but it kind of makes my face clearer. Um, which means when I'm doing makeup, it looks better. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror with this light on my face. And I'm just like... Why couldn't I look like this like five years ago? Like, so yeah, this light is a lifesaver. It made my life so much better. I've literally worn this t-shirt like for five days straight, and I'm not even like bothered about it because it doesn't smell. It's not dirty. It doesn't have any stains on it, so I might as well wear it in it. Just put some deodorant on, put some uh, perfume on, ready to go. Don't even. What the heck was that? Um, don't even have to like put effort into my outfit. I've literally got leggings, trainers, and a t-shirt on. But it does sound kind of gross that I wore this top like for a few days now. <laughs> but honestly, it's comfy. It says my 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 favorite band's name on it. It's like it's neutral. I mean, come on, people! Like it's not dirty. So just wear it in it. Like, I don't see the point of washing it and washing it and washing it and washing it. Just like uh, wear it every day. Like, keep it clean and then you can wear it more often. My skin looks really nice. I mean, I know I've got like scars here and stuff like my skin. Oh, looks really nice. Tell me what you think about this like light in the comments. Um, it's like a lot more accurate to my actual 
what I actually look like. It's a lot more like, like when I'd film a video in the past, like I'd not look like this. Like I'd not look like my accurate self. Like I keep on saying like, I probably said like 36 times like I did in that science presentation. Uh, <laughs> Don't bring that up, please. It kills me every time. That was so embarrassing. Um, but yeah, it, it's more accurate to what I actually look like in real life. So I'm so happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and yeah, I need to end this video because it's been so long. And I just keep on rambling. And this is what I need to stop. I'm putting that in my bullet journal as one of my goals for 2019. Stop rambling. Like, it's over there. So I'm not doing it right now on camera. But yeah, now it's dried. Here is the swatch. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give a like. Comment what you think of the ring light. Comment who your bias is from BTS if you are a stan of BTS. Because if you are, you're my friend. If you're not, then don't even bother speaking to me. Because my friend's bias is Sugar. My bias is J-Hope. And my cousin's bias and my sister's bias is Jungkook. Um, even my, even though my sister isn't that interested in BTS, she doesn't really like them. She, I still made her pick a bias, so hers is Jungkook, and then I made my mum pick one, and hers is V. Um, I'm trying to show you, so don't think I'm being like weird. I'm just trying to show you the things. But yeah, my mum says V. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I've said that like six times now, so I just need to end it. Um, and yeah, 